Welcome to our tip 36. This one's a really cool one. We're going to be making side plots for ggplot. And that's if you've ever worked with like Seaborn and, and Python, uh, this is how you can accomplish the same style of side plots and actually have a lot more control over the customization uh, with ggplot. It's using this new package called ggside and it is amazing. I'm really excited about this thing. So if you want to install it, um, definitely uh, you're going to install it from GitHub. Uh, and if you want this code that you're going to see today, the easiest way is to sign up for the RTIPS newsletter, and that's going to give you access to all of the code. So um, here, here's just really quick how to do that. Uh, what you're going to do is go to Git. You're going to do a Git pull. That's going to pull in the code. Uh, you're going to check out your files and what we're going to be working out today. So that's going to pull in all 36 of these RTIPS, and we're going to be working in the 36 month gg side so click in there open up the r file that's going to open up this file make sure you've got your outline open um, so you can follow along with me okay so back to the plot this is what we're making today and it's really really cool um, so the libraries uh, it's probably best to install from github the gg side package although i do think it's on crayon um, so just uh, it run this line of code i'm going to comment it back out so you don't accidentally run it again um, once you have that installed, uh, just do library GG side. Uh, we're also going to be working with the tidyverse and then my tidyquant package. So tidyquant is going to be giving us some themes. I'll point those out here, uh, to, to get these color themes. Uh, the data set that we're working with, it's the MPG data set. We've been working with this one a lot in these lessons and uh, for good reason. It's really nice. Um, it's got some different automobile manufacturers, some models, and then it's got some variables that are related to those models. Things like displacement, the number of cylinders, which is the engine size, uh, city and highway fuel economy. Uh, this is an MPG or miles per gallon and so on. So, uh, and then this is the, the class. So we'll be working with several of these columns today. Um, so let's jump into it. GG side, how do we use it? Well, this is really cool. Um, all we do is we can uh, basically just create a normal GG plot. So uh, I'm just gonna run these first two lines of code. Uh, this creates just a blank canvas for us using ggplot, mapping the highway to the x-axis, the city fuel mileage to the y-axis, and our class of car to the, to the color axis. Um, then I'm going to add some geom points, control enter, and this is going to add some points here. Um, I'm also going to add a smoother. So this is just normal ggplot, the same stuff that I teach in my 101 course. This is what you are, um, that what we're using to make. What differentiates it is the next piece, we're adding some geometries, and these are going to add what are called side plots. So the first one is geom x side density. So it always goes whatever it's axis it's on. So the X axis is the highway axis. So what it's going to do is it's going to add a side plot up here in the top panel. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to map to the Y axis uh, and we're going to use this thing called after stat. We're going to apply the density. So this is for X side density. Um, just, uh, I don't exactly know 100% what all is going on here. But I will say this, if you just run this code, it's going to make a density plot up here for you. Um, and then I have the fill is going to be based on the class, which is going to keep keep it with the same color as these color mappings down here. So let's just run this and I'll explain what's going on. So control and enter. And now I have a plot up here that is what's called a side plot. And this is great for understanding, okay, in the scatter plot, I can't really see what the density is, but now I very clearly can tell that light blue and pink, uh, which is pickup and SUV, have very low highway fuel economy. Uh, and I can see that this red one up here, two-seater, um, I can see the yellow, the green, uh, so compact, midsize, they have much higher fuel economy. Um, and then we can keep going down. We can do the same thing uh, for the Y side density. So Y is going to be the city fuel economy. And that's what's going to be going over here. So we do shift and enter, um, or, or excuse me, control and enter, control enter. And this now adds a side plot over here. Cool. So we've got the same thing going on. We can see that there's some slight differences. The red seems to be very spiky on the city fuel economy. So that's the two seater. Um, in this kind of quadrant here. Um, we can see that there's uh, some definite spikes here with the SUV and the pickup. Um, the other thing is, is I currently have these stacked 
So if you want to take the stacking off, um, this may make it easier to view. Um, just do Control Shift C here, and I'm going to do uh, Control Shift C here, and uh, then you can run these without the stacking. So Shift Control Enter, and now um, they're just kind of overlaid. So I, I prefer to see them stacked, but if you want them unstacked, you can also uh, see pretty well the trends there of the different densities. Um, and then the last piece is just what I teach in my 101 course, uh, how to adjust the colors, the, the fill. I'm using uh, scale color TQ for my tidy quant package, theme TQ, adding some labels, and then I'm adjusting the theme. Um, I'm gonna adjust the uh, scale of these. So this will make them a little bit taller. So when I run this, hit control and enter, we get a plot that looks like this where we can very clearly see, okay, these are where the densities are with these different um, plots. And if I want to do them stacked, I can just control shift C this and control shift C this and hit uh, control and enter. And um, now uh, with the less overlap, it looks a little bit less confusing to me. Um, and you can kind of see where the densities are of these highway fuel mileage and city fuel mileage by vehicle type. Uh, so very cool. This is an amazing plot. Um, it gets better. We don't need to just do densities. There's also uh, side box plots. Um, so, uh, and then also this is an example. This next example here is going to show us how we can do it with facets. So we're doing virtually the same thing. So if I do run these first two lines of code here on the side box plot, control and enter, um, again, we're starting off the same. Um, I'm going to add a smoother in here, control enter. And then what I'm doing here differently is I'm going to first add a side box plot. Um, and this is going to add the box plot up here. Um, I'm going to then add uh, some uh, theming. And then that's what this does. And then the facets is what I'm going to be doing here now. Um, and I teach this in my 101 course, control enter. Uh, this allows us to add our facets and we're breaking it out by the engine size. So four cylinders is a smaller engine and you can see that they tend to have higher high, uh, highway fuel economy. Um, you can see as you get to larger engines, number eight uh, here, these are going to be like your SUVs. You can see that they're uh, light blue and green. So SUV and pickup uh, are, are these predominantly and you can see that they're a much lower fuel economy than some of these other cars. So very cool, um, a lot to, uh, to, to take in here, um, but I think it does a really good job at showcasing what you can do with these side panels and how they can add to your plot to help you tell the story. Um, if you want to learn more about visualization, uh, it definitely doesn't stop here. Check out my R for Business Analysis course, DS4B101-R. That's the starting point for all of my programs. In week four of that, you learn ggplot2. It's an amazing five-hour uh, lesson just in week four on uh, ggplot2. You learn it in depth. Uh, here's the link for that. If you want to uh, go even beyond, I have a five-course art track that teaches you time series forecasting. It teaches you how to build web applications, and it also teaches you how to do cutting-edge machine learning with H2O. That is the link here. This takes you from beginner to expert within six months. Um, take, take these five courses, and your career will skyrocket. Okay, uh, that's it for today. Check. Um, thanks for tuning in, and check out the courses, and I will see you in another week.